TNT. How you doing, sports fans? I'm your host, Leon Taylor, I Love Sports Game Day. Today, we're at CBHS, and we're going to take a tour at CBHS as we get a chance to preview their high school basketball season as tomorrow they take on the Bartlett Panthers. Even though we're playing through a pandemic, myself and TNT Hoops Basketball are going to make our way to you guys and give you the recognition that you deserve. Guys, follow me as we get a chance to check out the new CBHS High School. This is where we hope our guys don't have to come too often. Alex McCarley, senior guard. Eli Fetterman, senior guard. Ben Floyd, senior guard. Reese McMullen, senior guard. Colin Beatty, senior forward. Colin Cyphers, senior forward. Sam Lakey, senior guard. Harrison Kelly, senior guard. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're at CBHS Christian Brothers High School. Big year for you guys. We're looking at the seniors. We're going to start off asking you guys, what does this senior year mean to you? Go this way. Uh, this senior year means a lot to me because uh, last year, you know, we made it to the Final Four but we took a tough loss, so I'm just hoping we can get back to the state championship this year. Yes, sir. Next up is point guard, Mr. Eli Fetterman. Yes, Eli, you had a great summer, man. You got a couple offers coming your way. How do you yes, feel about this senior year? I feel great. I'm just looking forward to it. Everyone comes in freshman year, and we all have one goal to uh, win a state championship. Uh, we came close last year, but now we just got to finish through this year. Yes, sir. What can we expect from you this year? From me? Yes, sir. I'm just going to be playing defense, going 100% every single play. Uh, trying to score a little bit uh, and take the load off some of my teammates while trying to distribute it to to some of the other guys. Yes, sir. Let's start. Uh, this senior year for me, it's a big deal. It's uh, been all most of us have been here four years. Uh, we came here with one goal, to win a state championship. Last year was short, uh, so that's kind of what we've been working through all summer long, all off seasons to get there, get that win, the state championship. What's it been like playing for Coach Lucky? Uh, for me, it's been a great experience. It's taught me a bunch of stuff uh, on and off the court. Um, he just like, I remember growing up, you hear about him, you hear about the teams, all that. It's really, it's a big deal, it means a lot. Yeah, so what can we expect from you this year? Uh, me getting out on the break, uh, playing defense, making a couple shots, uh, just help my team out in general, trying to win. Yes, yeah, sir. Next up, Mr. Reese McMullen, one of the great shooters in the city, committed to Pennsylvania, University of Penn. You already signed, sir? Not, not yet. Okay, when is that signing day? Uh, I'm not sure, sometime in the near future. Okay, okay. Once, once and foremost though, I mean, you, you just committed to the University of Penn. That's a great school, Ivy League school. It's a hard school to get into. So what kind of example have you been giving to some of the younger guys that look up to you? Uh, the biggest thing for me is just um, kind of hard work and discipline. Um, those are two uh, principles that I've stuck to um, ever since uh, I got here at Christian Brothers. And so, um, if I set any example, that's what I want them to take from it. Yes, sir. Now, you've been a starter for how many years? Uh, 
my port. Four years starter? Man, that's big time. So what's it been like playing up on the coach Lucky for four years? Um, it's been really good. Uh, the, the culture that Coach Luckett has kind of cultivated here, um, it's just like hard work, maximum effort, hustle. Um, and everyone, by the time you graduate, uh, not only do you become a better player, but I think you become a better man as well. Yes, sir. One of your greatest talents is your people skills, because when I talk to a lot of college coaches, they all rave about how great you are as a leader. Where have you got that from? Uh, I don't know. I think that's just uh, kind of naturally like my personality, my disposition. Um, you know, I just I just try to try my best to lead by example, and um, you know, just just try my best to um, you know just set an example for my teammates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good luck to you on your year. Thank you. Thanks, though. Uh, this year to me just means another chance to win state championship. Uh, like they said, you know, we came close uh, last year. Uh, we lost a tough one, Knoxville Catholic. And we got one more year to, you know, get the state. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. One thing uh, Coach Lucky told me as soon as I walked in, he said, sir, look at 44. His toughness is, is great to this team. So describe that. What, what, where do you get that from? Um, I don't really know. It's just kind of kind of natural. Um, I've never really been, like, the most talented guy on the basketball team or anything like that. But I always try to, like, get after guys and uh, do my best to like push the team forward. And so I know like, I mean, I get the opportunity to go in, but I know I can make these guys better um, around me. So that's what I do in practice every day. Yeah, so that's a great talent being a great teammate. Next up. Uh, this year to me just kind of means showing everyone what we can do. We, we have a hard working team. We're, we're out here working six days a week, full speed. Uh, a lot of guys put in extra work in the extra work in the morning, so we're just trying to get out here and and show everyone what we can do and go and win a state championship. Yes, sir. So what's it been like for you playing up on the coach Lucky? Uh, it's been it's been real good. Uh, got to play a little bit on varsity last year and, and getting to this year and just trying to hopefully show everyone what I can do and hopefully we can just go out and win. Yes, sir. You say you're going to show people what you can do. What exactly is it that you can do? I'm just going out trying to go out there and be like a Dennis Rodman type player. I want to be, I want to be in people's faces, playing defense, getting rebounds, uh, just basically all over the place, being a hindrance to the, the other team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next up. Uh, I'd say this year is kind of just like a culmination of all four years. And like we've spent a lot of time in this gym and around each other. So like, we've probably spent more time the past four years around each other than like our families. So it's a pretty big deal, I'd say. Yes, sir. So just like the front of your jersey says brothers, it's been a brotherhood for you, huh? Yeah, I'd say that. Yes, sir. So what's it been like for you playing up on a coach Lucky? Uh, I mean, he's definitely a really smart guy. Uh, he knows like all the X's and O's of the game. Uh, he's obviously been coaching here for a long time. So he knows what he's doing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Last but not least, Mr. Harrison Kelly, the dunking machine. Uh, this year, we want to go out and win state like we we thought we were going to do last year, but we fell short to Knoxville Catholic in the Final Four. And we want to go out and take what's ours because this is our year. Yes, sir. Harrison, you're a tough player. I think uh, you have a chip on your shoulder because you try to show people that you're not just a dunk, you're a great, you know, athlete and you want to be a college prospect. So what kind of message can you tell college coaches? That I'm coming for a scholarship this year <laughs> and yeah, I'm ready. Yes, Prepare. sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, last season, I mean, you made a highlight. You was on slam, man. That was big time. What can we expect from you this year? Same thing. <laughs> Same okay. thing. Okay, so you're just going to dunk on people and walk over them again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the seniors of Christian Brothers High School. All right, sports fans, standing in front of me are two of the top juniors of Christian Brothers High School. Hunter Pratt, junior, forward. Chandler Jackson, junior, point guard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guys, big year for both of you guys from this AAU scene. And Hunter. You, you, you do a little bit of everything. I mean, you're very versatile. You play in the post, play on the wing. Where do you get that from? Uh, just my work mentality and my work ethic. Just always working on everything. So depending what position I have to be in during the game, I can either work from the post or work from the wing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You had a big summer. And 
Uh, this team expects big things from you because you guys are not big in size, but you're one of the people that can do some things in the paint. So what can you uh, express to college coaches that are watching you guys this year? Just for like, uh, for me personally, kind of like being an underdog, going up against like the 16 guys, like the H the Houston team who's like all 16, or if we play Fayetteware, that J Stephen Walker guy, just uh, making a name for myself, getting rebounds, boxing them out, playing against them, just like working up to like what I need to do to for colleges to look at me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you're not a senior, but what's it been like playing for Coach Luck? Um, for playing for Coach Luck, it, it's been a work, a grind. Uh, he expects big things out of me, especially from eighth grade to being a junior. Now he he's been liking my work ethic and everything I've been putting out for him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good luck to you. Thank you. Next up, this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> the man around the town. I mean, you're one of the most wanted men in the junior class, Mr. Chandler Jackson. How does it feel, man, to go through this experience? Because since you've been a freshman to now, you've been building on your legacy. It's been good because not many people get to do this around Memphis or around the country or anywhere. So it's just, you know, embracing it with my family and everything, keeping my head straight. Yes, sir. From what you learned from this summer to now, what can we expect from you this year? Uh, <clears throat> I expect uh, shooting a lot of different things. I've been working with Team Dad. They've been I've been in the gym with them. They've been working on my shooting, all dribble, catch and shoot, and everything. Finishing, dribble, ball handling. They've been in the gym with them. I, I like going to the gym with them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, one thing about you that's been going real good for you is recruiting. You've been getting offers from Wake Forest, um, Vanderbilt's been on your list, Ole Miss, Creighton. What's that like, man, to go through the experience and see your dreams come true when schools are calling you now? It's, it's good. It's fun. I've been uh, thinking about this since probably like middle school. Been thinking what college I'm going to go to since middle school. But I didn't really think it was going to come like this this soon, freshman year. I didn't think it was going to come like that. I thought it was going to be like a little later. But all of the colleges, you know, talking to them, build a relationship with them. It's been fun. You know, talk, texting them every day, calling them, uh, like the draft. Uh, over to, uh, was it two days ago, texting the coaches like through the drive when their players you know get drafted, them seeing them excited, you know, being on the phone with them, seeing them excited. It's been fun. It's been fun. Yes, sir. Yo, my who's been standing out to you so far? I don't know. It's, it's hard. Every school been calling. You know, I've been talking to every school about every day. Some schools that haven't offered me, they've been talking to me every day. So it's just not one school really standing out, but they've all been on me though. Yes, sir. That's a good answer too. But uh, also, what's it been like playing for this school, Christian Brothers, being a focal point and playing for Coach Lucky? It's been good. You know, Coach, I like both Coach, both Luckett's, Coach Brad, and Coach Coach Ola Luckett, and Coach Scott, our assistant coaches, our assistant coach. have been building a relationship with them since eighth grade summer. And then we've become real close to where, you know, I can text them whenever I need them and everything. And then on the court, you know, him teaching me, you know, pushing me to be, be my best. He doesn't let me slack at all when we're whether we're doing drills or playing against 5 5 against JV or whatever in games. He don't let me slack. So it's just good to have somebody pushing you all the time. Yes, sir. Big game tomorrow. You guys play Barley High School. One of your good friends has transferred from Central to Barley now, Mr. Omar Knox. Yeah. What can we expect from that matchup? It's going to be a fun matchup. Me and Mar like, like close, you know, play AU together. And so it's going to be fun, you know. He's a good team. I played uh, fall league with him at Reform. He's my teammate. So it's going to be fun, you know, playing against my best, my friend. Yes, sir. Now, your last name, Jackson. Your father, David Jackson, is a North it, West Side? Yeah. West yeah. Side High School yeah. legend. Yeah. Played yeah. overseas. Yeah. Great college player. What have you take, taken from his game to add to yours? Everything. Uh, every time he come back in the summer, he always in the gym, probably like two times a day. And he'd, he'd be working because he working on how to score. Because that's what my dad does. He's a scorer. So, what is it? Low pose, it's like off coming off a screen, doesn't matter because he just teaches me how to score. You know, it's just fun, you know, because everybody be talking about, like, you know, how you're good like your dad. You know, you remind me of your dad and everything. It's just good. And I try to be better than my dad. And so, it's, it's fun. I'll be texting him everything, be complimenting, make fun of him sometimes when uh, some highlights when he don't dunk. I make fun of him or something like that, but yeah, it's fun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guys, good luck to you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Leon Taylor, Isla Sports Game Day, and we are at CBHS, and tomorrow they tip off against Barley High School. We're going to start off with talking with Coach Luckett. And Coach Luckett, how's it been going through a corona season this year? Unbelievable. I hope we never experience it again. You know, you just don't know what the next day offers. Uh, we missed out on summer, spring, which does a lot for us in preparation for the upcoming season. Uh, didn't get to do a whole lot in the fall, but we're just thrilled to be in the gym. Uh, we haven't had our entire team here yet. We're still short uh, getting everybody here for one reason or another. But, you know, I think it gives us a greater appreciation of being able to play. And we've got guys that uh, thought they disliked school but love it because they had to do without it for a while. So yeah, I think it gives us all a greater appreciation for things we've taken for granted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, like you said, appreciation. This is your 39th season? Yeah. Yes, sir. So how does it feel to know that you got nine seniors in your 39th season and you're coaching these guys through a pandemic? Well, I don't think anybody can coach as long as I have if they didn't get great kids. Yes, and we sir. are so fortunate to have kids that love the game, that respond to coaching. Um, you know, I, I hear nightmares from other coaches about dealing. With, we, we've just been very, very lucky. and. Uh, I keep coming back because I'm having so much fun and this is my school and it, it's a lot of fun to uh, stay involved and it keeps me a little young too. I've just turned 60 and uh, when you're you around know. teenagers, you, you kind of stay a little younger, I think. Yes, sir. I'm an old man to them, but I don't feel quite as old as they think I am. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, besides you, is your son who's pretty much learning so much from you. What's it been like? all these years having your son beside you. Oh man, played for me, coached with me. He's the best coach I've ever been around. Uh, my college coaches, uh, my high school coaches, he is, he's the best. And uh, the reason he's so good is because he's learned all the screw ups that I've done all these years <laughs> and avoided all that. But uh, he has a lot to do with this program and will take it down the road further than I've ever done it. So I couldn't be prouder of him. Yes, sir. How does it feel to follow those footsteps over there? Oh, it's a blast. It's so much fun working every day with your not only your dad and your boss, but your idol. And uh, learn so much from him. And I think one of the reasons that we are such a good team is because, you know, a lot of times assistants are just yes men and want to do whatever uh, the coach says. But every now and then we get to bickering and arguing. And I know it's going to be fine because we had that relationship. And Scares his mother when we do that. <laughs> Yeah, she's nervous about it, but I think it makes for a, a better result because we, I can, without any type of worry, bounce whatever ideas I have off of him and vice versa, and I think we're, we're a great team together. Yes, yeah, sir. Give me a classic moment out of all these years that you guys have had together. Yeah. Whew. That's a mm. <clears throat> Well, as a player, uh, my mom had to, he was pretty hard on me the first year, and my mom had to tell him, if you don't calm down, he's going to quit, because he went out of his way to make sure that he treated me the hardest. Big but, mistake. Uh, <laughs> but it ended up being fine, and I just bit my lip sometimes. Uh, but as a coach, uh, we've had just great times together. Um, Probably the best moment was the year we went 29 and one. Um, that ride was, we didn't even know how much fun we were having until it was over, but uh, what a blast that was. Great kids, great team, and this team has the potential to have a similar feel this year. And we're really excited about however many games we get to play. Hopefully it's a full season, but. Uh, we don't know. <clears throat> yes, sir. Now the, the boys, they all speak so highly of your father, but they also speak highly of you. What's it been like? going through this experience, preparing yourself for your future? Yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm in the gym as much as I possibly can be doing school, skill development with these guys on the weekends and in the mornings. And, and I just enjoy talking to them and hanging out with them and working as hard as I can. Um, as far as with the pandemic, it's, it's added stress, obviously, it is for everybody. Instead of just stressing about the next team or if we've worked hard enough, you got to stress about whether we'll get to play or whether we'll get you know, shut down next week or this week. But uh, we're trying to keep that out of our minds and just stay focused like we always are. And it's always, uh, it's always a blast. That's why I'm willing to work so hard for it is because it's fun too. Yes, sir. Let's let us let our fans know at home uh, tomorrow. Where's the game again? Game is here at Christian Brothers at 730. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for your time, gentlemen, and good luck to you on your season. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you all for coming.